Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's Tuesday, January 24th, and we just had a close call with a nor'easter. Luckily it was warm enough where it was all rain. But if it was snow, we would have had some uh, serious snowfall. Some, some places got over two inches of rain. I think the Boston area had over uh, something like 1.2 inches of rain. So definitely would have had to break out the snow blower. Still have some gusts here. I guess the coast took a beating, had about 40 mile an hour gusts, but what I want to talk about is the light conditions. I've been thinking about that, uh, in particular for the orchids uh, that I have in the window. I don't have, don't have any supplemental lighting for those, and I'm just relying on the, the sun that comes through the window. But on days like today, it's really low light levels, and it's even lower uh, inside the house. And even before the nor'easter uh, came through, we've had stretches of days where this is the extent of the sun. <laughs> Just solid overcast. So I've been thinking about getting some supplemental lights, but I've been curious as to exactly what the light levels uh, are and what the requirements are for the orchids. And what I found online is that Catleys in particular uh, need about two to three thousand foot candles. Now, I did find information that uh, on a day like today, typically uh, with overcast, it's about 100 foot candles. That's it. That's a, uh, a thousand lux. And direct sunlight is 10,000 foot candles and 100,000 lux. Uh, just indirect full daylight is a thousand foot candles which is equivalent to 10,000 lux and dusk is just 10 foot candles or 100 lux. So I like to see what the light level is on a day like today in the window for those orchids and also curious as to how much light is being put out by those fluorescent lights I have over the citrus in the cellar. But the only way I can figure that out uh, is by measuring it. So I went ahead and I purchased a light meter. Let's go take a look at that. So you can see here it's a little dark and gloomy here on the windowsill. And I don't think that's enough light for these orchids. At least not enough light to produce some healthy growth and uh, blooms. So here's the light meter. Bought it off of Amazon, $39.98. Let's see, digital lux meter, doctor meter. Of course, made in China. Comes in an old carrying case here. There seem to be a couple of design philosophies with these. Um, some of the meter is built right in to the unit, so it's just all one piece. And these you have um, a separate light uh, detector attached by a cord to the meter. So you sort of have to use two hands to take a mobile type of uh, measurement with this type. So let's open it up, take a look inside. So let me turn on a light. It's like I said, it's overcast today. A little dark in the house. So let's open this up here. Warranty card. Wonder what the warranty is. Twenty-four hour response time, thirty day money back guarantee, twelve month replacement warranty. Lifetime support guarantee. A booklet. I hope it's self explanatory. So you've got the meter it's separate, attached by this cord, so you can, you know, go around, check different lighting. Guess maybe if you're a photographer, that's important. I don't, like I said, some of them, they just have the whole thing built into it, and you just, so I don't, 
know why some of them have this type of design. But this little plastic cover, like rubber bumper for the meter. And I thought maybe this was a return because I had opened this previously and trying to figure out how the battery or if a battery was included. One is. Um, they just didn't put the screw in. So this is the cover. And it was like this. So it's a nice typical battery you get. Um, one that you've never heard of. Go light, at least I've never heard of that. <clears throat> Hope it doesn't end up leaking into this. Let's get this connected. That's your piece of plastic. Oh, covered in plastic. I have to get the plastic off of this. Okay, so let's hook up the battery. Stop measuring light levels. Put that screw on later. Let's see. Be nice to pay attention when you take things apart how they go back together again. Luckily, there's a tell there. This is the notch for the cable. All right, so power. And you have the option here of con uh, changing from two different units here, Lux, which it's currently on, and foot candles. So you just take this cover off here, off of the sensor, start measuring light. Wow. 71 Lux. Or less than seven foot candles. That's less than uh, dusk light. So let's go check uh, out near the window. So if we look here, we have what do we have? That's odd. Are there scales on this? Unless this has to be perfectly flat? That's weird. For some reason it... Um, range. Oh, there is a range. Okay. There is a range button. Because that seemed like it was going out of range. It was uh, maxing out. And the display was, let me watch. So how do we know what range we're on when we press this? I don't see any indicator. Oh, there it is. There's something in the window. It says 10x, 100. So we have... Very low light levels. That's 250 lux. And if we want to look at foot candles, that's only 24 foot candles for these orchids. That's not cutting it. So I need from in between uh, over 2,000 foot candles is equivalent to 20,000 lux. So yeah, I've been looking at LED lighting for supplemental lights for these orchids. So now I know, definitely, you know, verified here that light levels are way too low for these Cattleya to produce some good growth and flowers. And I've been looking at some LED lights as a possibility for these orchids. 
I'm interested to see what the light levels are on the citrus. Okay, so you can see here with the citrus in this particular one, I do have some new growth here, so it's responding to this shop light that I installed with the four fluorescent lights. So let's see what the light level is. Let's see here, range times 10. So we have over 2,600 lux and foot candles, that's equivalent to about 240 foot candles. You can see there, go back to lux, and it's times 10 scale. As we get closer, about four inches away from the light, we're up to 10,000 and foot candles, that's 1,000 foot candles. So I would think for citrus, if you can get as close to direct sunlight as possible, that would be the best. That's about 100,000 lux or 10,000 foot candles. And here I only have a thousand foot candles. Now under these other lights here, look at this, I just noticed the Shinoto orange here. This sour orange has just loaded with buds. Let's see what we have for light here. Should be similar to the other one. Let's see. Range. Too bad it's not auto ranging. So we have about 840 foot candles. Hmm. Or 9,000 lux. Well, at least I know now what the levels are. And it's pouring out again. Really dodged a bullet this time. If it was snow, we would have been buried. Just wanted to add this real quick to compare it with the overcast day. Here we have full sun and I have the curtain to the side there so it's just the frosted contact paper. You can see the extent of the of the sun falling on the cattleyas as opposed to Phalaenopsis there. Let's measure that. Let's measure that light level. Okay, when I turn the sensor toward the sun here, that's over 4,000, let's jump in there, I can get over 4,000 foot candles. So the ones, the one on the back here, are already dropping down. It's just over 2,000 foot candles, so like I said, the cat leaves, I think are supposed to get between two and 3,000. So with full sun, there is adequate light coming through the window here for the cattleyas. But if you have several days in a row with the overcast, that's definitely not enough light. So this is the citrus air layer I have in the window here, just through the glass. And the light level here is over 5,000 foot candles. And that's over 50,000 lux. So that's the doctor meter light meter and now I know the light levels that I have on my orchids and on my citrus. So even if you have supplemental lighting and you're just guessing, probably good to have a meter to know for sure what your light levels are. So you get healthy growth and healthy plants.
So this is New England Gardening, checking out the light levels and probably needing to purchase maybe an LED light for the orchids. Thanks for watching.